Hello Python programmers. So in this video, we'll discuss how you can create a 3D first person game using Python. So let me show you a quick demo of what we're going to create. Okay. So here you can see that this is a very basic game. We have added a platform. We have added the background. We have added the boundaries and we have given motion to our player and we have also given a weapon to our player. Okay. So this is the basic 3D game that we are going to create in this video. The player can move left, right, uh, forward, backward. It can jump. And uh, yeah, this is the basic part that we are going to create in this video. Although I'm thinking about expanding this into a big playlist where we'll create somewhat a personalized version of Minecraft. So stay tuned if you want to see that happening and uh, more of that we'll discuss in the later end of the video. Okay. Okay. So let me close this real quick. Okay. Now let's see that what is the system requirement for this project. You have to install a external package called Ursina. Ursina is actually a game engine. Here we are using the wrapper of Ursina game engine. Okay. So you have to write pip install Ursina. Okay, so now let me quickly close this and let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. As you can see, the code is already written. I'll also provide the link in the description from where you can download this. But before you go on and copy paste the code, it's very important to understand that how it works and what are the application of each component of the code. Okay. And also this is the GitHub repository of uh, this Ursina package. I'll also explain you from where I am using all of these components. Okay, so stick to the video. So first of all, we have imported a Ursina package and we have imported all of the components from this Ursina package. Then we have specifically imported the first person controller. Okay, now as you know, there are two types of controllers first person and third person controller so we'll be using first person controller to to have somewhat a minecrafty feel okay then we are creating a class instance of ursina we are using this set variable here then we are setting the sky okay so now let me go back to uh, the github repository of ursina and if we go to this ursina folder I'll provide the link in the description for this uh, repository also. Now uh, go on to this texture folder. And uh, these are all the backgrounds and the platform patterns that you can use. I am using uh, sky default. Okay. So I am using sky default. And uh, yeah, this is your sky default. You can also use sky sunset. There are uh, the shore reflection map. There are multiple. Uh, backgrounds that you can use then let me go back okay so we have defined the texture or the background of our uh, game it will be sky default then we are specifying that what will be the controller type here we are specifying first person controller or fps sorry fpp so after we have defined the controller type we have created empty blocks list we'll be using this in the later end of the code so don't worry about this for now then let's do one thing first let's create our platform then we'll go on and create our player okay so first let's come to this for loop so we want two values we want x and we want z axis because y axis is already fixed we are creating a plain platform we don't want to increase or decrease the y axis values so we want only two values for x and z so we are creating two for loop with variable i and j and we have to create 20 blocks or i am creating 20 blocks here if you want you can create a smaller platform if you want you can create a larger platform it all depends on how you want your game to be then we are creating the block here and we want this to be button okay let's say you want to add a, a specific functionality to your platform so this is why we are creating button for our platform the color of our platform of each block will be white and the model will be cube 
and the position will be as you can see j comma 0 0 is the fixed y axis and i okay this is the z axis then the texture is brick let me go back once again and show you that this is your brick png okay now this is a very small image but this is the image that we want for our platform okay then the parent or the scene on which we want to add uh, this uh, button is this scene variable the origin y or the positioning of this button will be at 0 0.5 relative position then after each for loop we are appending this block okay so we are having 20 blocks this is a 20 by 20 matrix so we are adding the values of each block into this blocks variable okay this is why we have created this blocks variable over here this is the variable in which we'll store the entire block value then after the platform is created so we have created the platform and we have created the background now let's come to our player okay now the player is a entity now when we'll create our enemies or multiple things in our game all those things will also be a entity or a thing in our game okay so the player is a entity and the model is cube we want this uh, our player to be cube and the color is color dot black we want our player to be black and the relative position is at two unit okay now let's add motion to our player okay so player dot x or the x axis movement of the player will change when we'll held the d key okay so we are using the p a w s and space bar to move our player dna for left and right s for backward w for forward and space bar to jump okay then after the movement is defined to our player let's give the player a weapon so once again this uh, weapon is also a entity the parent is camera dot ui or we want this entity fixed with our camera so as we move ahead with our player the weapon and the camera moves along okay the model here is cube the texture is bow arrow png okay so let me show this once again now these are the textures it won't be in textures as you can see inside the items folder we have multiple things that we can give to our uh, player we have bag we have gems we have items we have orb we have sword now i'm not a minecraft player so maybe before i create this project i have to play minecraft a little bit so that i can know that what are the rules and how these uh, things work actually so uh, anyway let's get back to our program so yeah we have given the uh, weapon to our player which is a bow arrow and the position is vector 2 you know this is a vector right so at the relative position 0 0.406 and minus 0 0.42 okay so this is the relative position according to the player so for now there is no action defined for the weapon once again as i have told you this is the basic introduction of this asana package we'll be doing a lot of things with this package and creating some really fun games with this package now after we have done all of this i guess we have done all of these things we have to run our program so we have created a set variable here so we'll run the set variable or we'll uh, run our asana engine okay so let me run this real quick to show you once again the final output okay so here you can see these are the bricks this is our background our sky the player is holding the bow and arrow and uh, we can use our keys for the movement okay so how do you like this project do comment down below and also give me some suggestions about the game because I want to create not the exact replica of Minecraft. I want to add some of the fun features that Maker Games have. So do comment down some fun things below that I can add to the game. And if you have also worked with this package, you can connect me on uh, Instagram and we can create something fun together. Okay, this was it for this video and I'll meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.